Hey guys, welcome to a new video in the WordPress snippet series. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the admin bar. Um, since WordPress 3.1, we were given this admin bar as a way to kind of link the back end to the front end. So you'd have this ability to, from the front end of your website, switch right back to, um, you know, the different areas in your back end. Uh, but for me, it was always a pain because it, it just gets in the way of the design. Um, and, and plus, I don't even use it. I'm so used to switching back and forth between tabs. I, I, it just really didn't have a purpose. And there was really no way to get rid of it until about th uh, WordPress 3.3, uh, where they gave us the option to disable it. Uh, there's actually two ways to accomplish this. Uh, one, you can you can do this to the back end of WordPress now. Um, and the other way is to actually disable it in the functions uh, PHP file in your theme. Uh, so I'm going to show you both ways. The first way I'm going to show you is just going simply in the back end uh, and clicking a button disabling it. So uh, I can go back into my dashboard. It's going to be found under users in your profile. Now when you uncheck this, uh, it's only going to disable it for you specifically, not for any other logged in users on the site. Uh, so I can easily uncheck that, update my profile, uh, go back to, to the website and it should disappear altogether. Um, which it does. Again, it only goes away for you, not for other logged in users. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back and I'm going to show you another way of doing it using a snippet. All right, so let's just kind of confirm that that comes back. It is, and I'm going to come to the my noahstrader.com website and I have the, uh, the actual snippet on there. You're not going to copy the PHP tags because uh, in your functions file they're already there, so you don't want to add another set of them. So we're just going to copy the two lines in between uh, starting with the function and uh, the the add filter line, and we're going to put this in our uh, functions file. Uh, I'm going to place this up at the top, um, just to kind of a just to kind of a, an, a nice way to keep this clean and organized. Go ahead and make sure that you add comments to this, so you just don't throw random uh, snippets of code inside of your uh, your your file. Uh, so we're just going to do we're just going to say remove admin bar. All right, we're going to save that. And if I go back to the website, that should take care of it. And again, that's just going to remove it all together, no matter which user you are. Um, it's just a clean way of doing it. There, there are plugins that will accomplish the same thing, but I always advise not to throw as you know a, a hundred different plugins on your site for performance reasons. So uh, there you go. Those are two uh, means of, of removing this admin bar. Um, again, you can leave comments at the bottom of the video if you have come up with something more creative. <laughs> um, but um, that's all there is to it. Uh, again, uh, my name is Noah Schrader, and you can subscribe to the channel if you'd like. I definitely appreciate your subscription, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.